Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Christmas Eve. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. Big day today. We're off to pick up my new toy. I'm going to take you along for the journey. You obviously know by the description what we're going to go pick up. But uh, we're off to see Headley. Me and my wife are taking a drive over now. I'm going to put you in a little bit of a time lapse and uh, yeah, enjoy the music, enjoy the scenery. And you see a little bit of Wales, but uh, yeah, we're off to pick up the new Creighton 6S um, EXB version 2. Majorly excited for this. I'm glad I could take you along for the ride. I'll uh, give you a quick little show around the shop. We'll meet Headley, and then obviously we'll collect the car. What do you think, guys? Let's go. Come on. Then. Right guys, so we've actually come to Western Valleys. We've, we've managed to get here. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage. Uh, we're just gonna go in the shop now and have a little look. So, for you guys, for you. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, obviously, I'm here with Edley from Western Valley Models. We come to pick up my AXB. Edley, would you like to explain where you are and what you do and what sort of things you got here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, we're Western Valley Models. Yeah. Uh, we're based in Riska. Yeah. Uh, we have got a website. Still, we're in work in progress at the moment. It's nice though. I have had a yeah. look around the website. It's, it's, to be fair, it's getting there. It just takes time. That's I got to be honest. You know, when I came out, I looked at the XB stock and I and they seen it was out of stock. I was like, go oh, on. No. Oh, no, I <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple of them here. So uh, yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, I've got something for you, Chris. Have you? Yes. Have yes. you? <laughs> oh yes. Guys, ch check it out. I'm absolutely <laughs> awesome. Really can't wait for this. I've honestly, so the fact that 
I looked all over the UK for this and Sod's Law, my local hobby shop, is the one place where it was. Uh, a friend of mine, Nathan, mentioned he came in here yeah, and then I rang up Edley and uh, yeah. So thank you, mate. You're welcome. Thank you very You're much. Very right, welcome. guys, I'll, uh, I'm going to do the deed and pay for it now and um, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Guys, check it out. 6S EXB version 2. Thank you to Headley, obviously, for hooking me up with this vehicle. Guys, I will put a link in the description to the website, as you know. Um, been really, really good with me over the past couple of months and uh, since I've been coming to the shop. And the fact that he actually had one of these in stock was absolutely awesome. Um, trying to find one of these in the UK was an absolute nightmare. And uh, as I mentioned, yeah, he had one in stock. In fact, he had two. A friend of mine's actually picked up the second one. So, big shout out to Anthony for picking one up. Um, you're going to be seeing loads of this on the channel. We'll do the usual thing, obviously. Looking over the vehicle, going through it, doing some first checks, setting the car up, and then hopefully bashing the snot out of it. So, a couple of little features. We've got, obviously, uh, the, the upgraded towers and everything. Um, different style shock caps. You've got your 7075 chassis. The new addition that everyone ranted and raves about is the diff cases. Um, obviously, your AXP steering components, including top plate and everything else. Centre chassis brace is quite a big thing. And then obviously uh, front and bumps, uh, now I don't think they're actually new, but obviously they, they're just showing you extreme bash, uh, quite a big front skid on there. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, I've been wanting this truck for a long time guys, so it's a big day for me. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video, I'll see you back at the house. A few moments later. Welcome back guys, okay, so uh, massive shout out to Headley, uh, we're back at the house. It is the day after, okay. Um, I had a few family things I needed to sort out, but look, we got it. <laughs> Proper excitement about this one. The Armour Creighton 6S version 2 EXB, sorry, EXB version 2, sorry. Um, I'm going to put the head cam on for this one, and basically I'm going to show you the car. And uh, I think that's the best way. I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it. I think that's the best option that we can give you. Uh, massive shout out to all of you, obviously, um, for the encouragement to pick up this car. Oh, I'm excited. Right, anyway, stop it. Let's carry on. Come on in. Check it out, guys. I'm a Creighton EXB version, uh, sorry, 6S <laughs> version 2. Um, massive shout out to Headley for uh, hooking me up with this vehicle. I've been majorly sort of excited to pick this one up. Guys, they're saying 65 miles an hour on the box. Um, that, I believe, is with um, speed gearing. Now, this is the first uh, EXB to come RTR, I believe, uh, from the Armour Camp. And um, it's not a cheap one, guys. I'm just going to put that out there. I, I've had to kind of scrimp and save and try and find ways of funding this vehicle. This car, I paid for my own cash. And, uh, yeah, basically we have to let some vehicles go. But, look, hey, that's what it is. Um, I'm going to turn this around now. Let's have a quick peek. So, uh, what have we got in here? We've got the Spectrum DX3 and also uh, Receiver. Um, now, I'm going to obviously dive into that a little bit more. You've got the new Spectrum 665 uh, Servo. I believe that's an upgraded servo. Metal Gear in, 25 tooth as well. So, obviously, you're, you know... Other, they're now using a proprietary and um, what the rest of the world is using a uh, 25 tooth servo horn which is nice you've got the version 250 amp spectrum uh, ESC um, these uh, are fully programmable as I mentioned on my Creighton 4S video and the 2050 kV I think it's a 4274 motor um, and the new lock-in um, heat sink on the vehicle as well. Turning it around, as we mentioned in the shop earlier, a couple of little features that what they want you to know about is obviously uh, these new sort of anodized metal uh, bulkheads or diff housings. Um, really, really nice addition because a lot of people will upgrade to these. Um, E.g. maybe like with Scorched or, or Vitavon or you know custom RC upgrades, that sort of thing. You know, there's plenty of options on the market. You've got the new style emulsion shocks, obviously for easier for bleeding and you know kind of tuning, right? Uh, Seven oh seven five chassis. Uh, let's have a look. The new center brake system. So on the previous model, from what I understand, is it was one solid bar all the way through. Now they're actually mounting to the diff case, which is nice. All right, I think obviously that's going to give you a lot more strength going from tower to center diff and then center diff back to the tower. 
as you can see, anodized aluminium gearboxes. And we mentioned about the shocks. You've got your EXB components for your steering, e.g. Ackerman, and obviously you, your AB, uh, I think it's AB, and, or is it just A and D blocks? I'm not sure, I'll check that out, it might be. Uh, and then your t EXB top plate, front skid and bumper, obviously nicely beefed up. And I did note this, they've uh, um, upgraded the turnbuckles on this one as well, guys. So, right, pause the video, <coughs> I'm going to put the head cam on. And anything else on the side of the box? Anything you need to know? I don't think so. No. Right, okay. Put the head cam on and let's uh, dive into unboxing this, shall we? Right, guys. Creighton 6 SBLX uh, EXB version 2. I don't know what they want. I'm not sure why they used the BLX, but when I did look into it, uh, essentially what that means is brushless. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive and they've... Uh, Sort of the extreme bash scenario is, is what they're going under. Now, the reason why I went for this all right, is many, many times uh, I've gone and bought a truck and then started up the upgrade process. But with this, I noticed most of the upgrades I'm going to do to it are actually installed on the vehicle. So I was quite excited about that. Um, and in the theory of uh, saving some cash uh, and obviously having a really nice platform, this... When I looked into it, essentially, is the the king of them all. That's the you know that's what they're aiming for. Um, it does come with AVC, so vehicle control. That's something I'm really keen to to tune myself into. Um, obviously, I've got it on my Flysky GT5 handset, which I've got by there, and. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this car stock other than a few cosmetic upgrades and maybe some um, sort of mud guards and that sort of thing. I'm going to keep the car as as stock as I can. Let's get the box off, shall we? Right, okay. So, inside, obviously, you creaked in for the car. As you can see, let's just take the packaging off, shall we? Right, let's have a quick peek. How do I get this out? I think I'm going to need a pair of scissors. Just bear with me. I wanted to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you obviously watching these videos as well, guys. Um, honestly, I really, really can't thank you enough. Uh, this journey that we're going on is amazing. And I just feel totally blessed that you're coming along for the ride. I tell you what, right, let's move the wheels out first. Shall we? So we've got the copper heads, the version 2s. And these are the 6S wheels. So obviously I use these on my 4S armour. And they've been... Really, really good actually, uh, provide a lot of grip, but they, uh, they also allow me to have a little bit of slip in some corners. Now, as you know, I was a big fan of backflips, um, but I think these are gonna do the job. The tread pattern, if you look guys, I believe is armor. I'm not sure 110%, someone did say that on a forum. But a really nice tread pattern, should be hard wearing. The sidewalls are nice and hard on them as well, so that's good. So let's just put them aside, get the wheels out. And this one, but uh, yeah, big fan of the, uh, the copper heads. Um, been as I say, using them on my 4S truck, and I've had no issues so far. Right, we'll go into what's in there in a moment. Now, there's a few things as you can see in, in the actual welcome pack, or basically, you know, the user manuals and stuff like that. One of the things I've noticed does come with shims, so that's nice. We'll go into that in a moment. You also get on top, yeah, let's have a look. Can I get this off? Right. QR code, so basically, and I'll show you on the website in a second, you can scan that and then, you know, go find some more information. A little bit of information about installing your wheels, nothing too major, but uh, yeah, nice that Armour have, have got some product support. You know, the card you scan with your phone, we all live in a digital age, and then you can go straight to the website and find out the information you need, so that's good. Right, let's chop some of these. One. I'll tell you what, it'll be easier. Let's take this off. Oh, the smell of a new car going, honestly. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. And I've I've longed for this truck for some time now, so There's another zip tie there. Let me go in, there's one there, and then I think there's one at the front here. Oh, oh it does look like the underneath the chassis as well. Oh, no, that one's done. 
and there's one at the back. Okay, and the track should be loose. Yep, sure is. Um, first impression actually is quite, it's not as heavy as I thought it'd be, but bear in mind, I've got to install the wheels. So, let's get a box up, the we? Um, and we're going to do this. Pop the box over there. There you go, guys. I'm a Creighton 6S EXB. Straight away. I mean, obviously, we've got to put the wheels on, but I am noticing the suspension's rather plush. So, yeah, really, really nice. Um, you've got the 7075 chassis at the bottom. Um, I love this etching. Uh, don't just bash, blast. Obviously, straight away I'm noticing something actually. Because obviously, bearing in mind, guys, I have actually had the uh, Mojave, and I'm noticing the centre brace here has actually got an extra screw. Oh, that's interesting. So obviously, they must have beefed up the chassis design in here, which is nice. Let's just do a peel, shall we? I know some guys will absolutely love this. I'm not you guys for doing peels or any sort of AMS ever. <laughs> oh my god, look at the paintwork. <laughs> right, okay. Wow. I love this design on the front as well. So if you actually look, guys, and I will do some close-ups in a minute, um, it's actually got EXB. Kind of, so you've got like a obviously underneath you've got this kind of charcoaly black fade at the front, and then you've got EXB actually printed into the decals. Now, some's gonna, some people are gonna dub this as the king of the six S's, and I, I, I mean, look, who am I to argue? The front, absolutely beautiful. I think Armour do an absolutely killer job as well of, of, of styling on their vehicles. I'm a big fan of it. Creighton. Now, um, so how you can tell this is obviously the version 2 for a start. All right, before you go into anything else is obviously the decals. What they've done, they've added this kind of red look to them. But, uh, yeah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, I think this needs now uh, the camera adjusting, and then we'll go from there, guys. So let's have a quick peek under the bonnet before we go any further. Yeah, boy. <laughs> She's a sexy girl, boys. She's a sexy girl. Right, so let's put the body back on, and I think we'll do some close-ups now. Right. Pause the camera. Guys, check it out. I'm a 6S EXB. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. I'm a fair shout to you. Um, if you're into your RCs and you're into your bashing, this is... Uh, Pretty darn special, I think. Pretty darn special. I really, really like the kind of look of this body. As you can see. When you remember I said about the EXB? So, just looking at it by there. Obviously, that's the paintwork. And then it feeds into this kind of black. You've got little ac accents then of this kind of matte grey. The red Creighton logo. And then peeking underneath, you can see all the red goodness. So... Couple of things to mention here straight off the bat. I can say after using the Mojave, these turn buckles are definitely thicker. All right, so yeah, nice little improvement there. Um, peeking over the back, you got your AXB tower and your emulsion style shock. Obviously, where I say emulsion, obviously you can bleed it there. So let's just take the body off, shall we? And this is where all the good stuff lurks, guys. What a beautiful piece of kit armor of major. Honestly, I am over the moon with this. Uh, there you go. I'm just trying to put the body safe somewhere. Bear with me two seconds. Right, okay. So that's the body out of the way. Now, at the front of the vehicle, let's just turn this around. Okay. So at the front of the vehicle here, obviously you've got the... This is one of the big upgrades they've done. They've added these aluminium diff cases, as you can see. I hope the camera's focusing in properly here, guys. But, um, yeah... 
majorly impressed with that. Really kind of nice. And um, peeking through there, they've actually upgraded the servo saver as well. So the, the, the servo saver is a lot beefier. All right, but these uh, diff cases, you've got the captured, obviously, hinge pins there. This big stout bumper, as you can see. Really, really nice. Um, I believe that's the same as the previous model, but uh, I will confirm that for you. Um, then you've got your uh, Spectrum version 2. Uh, so it's what they call the Black Edition uh, ESE, 150 amp. Um, I'm going to be checking this for a firmware upgrade for you guys. Um, now, nice little improvement here. I know a lot of people will complain about these on previous armors. The screws that were included in... Hang on, let me just let me just turn my camera off, guys. I do apologise. I've got my uh, DJI recording the top-down view just now. Right, okay. But uh, yeah, the previous screws. What they've actually gone for now, by the looks on things, there is a is a deeper 2.5 millimeter screw. So that's nice. You've got the new style heatsink, and I believe that's a 35 millimeter fan on top. It might be a 40. I know, mm, 40 possibly. Yeah. Um, Power wise, you got the Spectrum firmer 2050 kV 4274 motor. Armadour do just a really, really good job putting these together. Poking through by there, guys. I don't know whether you can pick that up. Is the new, let's just turn the servo, shall we? There you go. The new Spectrum S665. Now, I believe this is only 20 kilogram, but they're magical little beasts, these I've been told. I think Kenny Downs mentioned it. Um, so, uh, do RC. And um, he said, you know, basically that these servos, or Razor, it might have been Razor mentioned it, these servos actually work very, very well for on this vehicle. A lot of it's uh, down to this servo saver as well, mind. So they've really um, kind of beat, uh, gone to town on, on the steering, so fingers crossed. That will run at 7.4 uh, Beck as well, so we will be turning the Beck, making sure the Beck's turned up on this. Um, now, poking through, as you can see here, is the chassis brace system so they've gone for this triangulated chassis brace system which is very much like as you know like a kagama uh the kagamas basically have got this um they've got a three-point system at the back but look how thick that rear brace now is guys absolutely amazing so with the previous model it was a lot thinner than this um you got your diff case poking through there. Does seem like the outdrive cup uh, is actually beefed up there as well. Is that metal? Oh, I think that's plastic. No, no, it might be metal. No, it's plastic. Um, when I say plastic composite, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that is, does seem to be beefed up. One thing to mention is these outdrives, guys. Now, um, a few people are saying these outdrives are not as good as the previous model. So I am going to obviously check that over for you. Uh, I think the composite. Um, hmm, or is that a cover? Could be a cover there. I will whip that off and have a look. But um, yeah, it might be a cover that actually. EXB on the wing. Just a really, really nice looking truck, this. Um, any other improvements they've done to the vehicle? You've got a big stout cage system, obviously, for protecting the roof of the, and the body of the vehicle. But just looking at it, it's a very, very well put together truck, this. This, I think it's going to be a bit overkill for the sort of thing I'm doing. I'm going to be straight with you, but, but... I wanted something that's going to last me a while. I'm fed up of getting trucks, all right? Upgrading them to only L and back, and then spending a load of cash on them. So I thought, right, rather than do it that way, why don't you, Chris, get yourself a big, chunky 6S truck that's going to take all, all sort of the bashes, the knocks, and everything to do. I'm not the best driver at the end of the day, guys. Um, I'm very much used to road racing, so, yeah... Right, pause the video two seconds. Let's uh, put the wheels on the car, shall we? Right, guys, so uh, one thing I will say, I've got the wheels on now, absolutely awesome. A few little changes I've noticed on the vehicle from obviously unboxing it as well, 
is obviously the chassis brake system here is a lot thicker. It, uh, now we've got this tower to centre diff arrangement rather than a brace going all the way through. That's got to be for, for strength, I'd imagine. Um, obviously, no. I, that might actually be... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it should actually be backward compatible as well. So I would imagine the previous guy, EXB guys, if they wanted to, they could actually fit that system. Uh, as I say, 25.2 servo, uh, upgraded upgrade, servo, different ESC. They've now captured, by the looks on things, the shocks. It does seem to be like a different, sh different standoff maybe. I'll have to check that and whip it off. But the actual suspension travel is so plush. Really, really nice. Um, out of the box. Now, uh, differentials, I will say, feel really, really good. Um, I'm wondering whether to actually even do my usual diff tuning on this one and just take it out. Um, the centre diff, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, normally my process would be to start wrenching on the vehicle, do the diffs and basically just get everything sorted to actually go and run it, but it does feel nice. I've checked over obviously all the screws. Um, the other thing to mention on the back of the vehicle there guys, they've now got this new uh, four point brace system for the wing, whereas previous motor models, I know they had some issues with the wings coming off. So we'll have to see if that actually stays intact and everything's fine. Um, flipping the car over. There you go. So, arm steam nice and stout. Everything seemed captured well. These big, hefty skids there. Would like to have seen maybe some sort of skid protector on the back. I'm going to see if RPM make one or someone like that. Because, obviously, you've got this flat chassis here. Front's protected, but the back isn't, and I don't really fancy grounding out any screws here. Um, but interesting. Um, I mean, obviously on the on the Mojave, I can't remember now whether the back of this was as thin as this, but it might be. I, I don't know. But again, diffs feel absolutely awesome. Um, I might just blow caution to the wind and take this out and go give it a run. To be honest with you. IC5 connectors, um, we'll have a look at the, re open the receiver box up now and have a look to see what the receiver is in here as well. But uh, I think I'm literally going to run this stock and see how I feel about it. But um, this, guys, is a thing of beauty. Absolutely amazing. Really, really like the way the car looks, how it feels. But um, yeah, nice. The diff housings, it was a good move in my opinion with armour. I think they've done a, done a good thing there. I made sure that obviously the diffs now on this, on especially on this variant. I mean, obviously this is meant to be the king of the 6S cars. And uh, yeah, so adding those. Whether they're going to follow that through on, on other vehicles, I don't know. But I think really in this day and age, if you can add them, yes, it'll add some cost, but these are going to be a lot stronger, a lot tougher. On the, If you remember, go back and watch my videos on the Mojave. I was having some terrible issues with the rear diff, and I think a lot of it is down to that diff case. Now, with composite, over a period of time when you run them, obviously that will deform. Um, by the way, a lot of this information has been given to me by a couple of good friends who run these trucks. Um, Andrew Casey, Nathan Thomas... Um, Mark Davis, um, you know, there's uh, Ben Davis from Bigfoot Customs, Neil Milliken, they're all on, on uh, my RC Buddies group, guys, on Facebook. If you want to come check it out, some really, really knowledgeable people. I want to say thank you to them as well for being there. Um, yeah, I think this is going to serve me well. Now, I haven't got the best of reputations of driving, um, but. I want something to last me. Summer's coming, and um, yeah, I think this is definitely going to do it. It was interesting that for the, to see just silly little changes, as I say, with the chassis braces as well. That what they've actually done is basically you've got two anchor points there and there, um, whereas in the previous model you just have one, maybe let's say in the centre. Um, so what happens is now it's actually spreading the load. So if you're in at a point of impact, you've got obviously got your two points there. So that's good. 
Um, I think the A, B, C and D blocks are all aluminium, but they've got composite covers on them. So we'll have to check that. Might see if there's uh, some custom RC upgrades for it. Uh, speak to Lee. Uh, again, another really knowledgeable guy uh, from Custom RC Upgrades. Big shout out to him. I'm over the moon. Really over the moon with this. Um, let's have a look at the rest of the stuff, shall we? Let's go from there. I'll see you in a second. Right, guys. Just wanted to quickly show you what comes with the vehicle. So obviously you've got your Creighton EXB 6S manual version 2. Uh, obviously in here you've got obviously programming information information about your diffs and everything else uh, armor always do a decent job of this also quite an important one is setting up your avc if you're going to use avc i think it's probably set up out of the box but uh yeah gives you all information on what to use what shock oils to use what diff oils to use from you know obviously your ese programming and everything else throttle calibration that's the handset that comes with it. That's the DX3, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's got your AVC control. Uh, I believe then you have your brake rate, steering trim, and throttle trim. Um, you obviously, if you're using smart batteries, you get your smart battery level there. Your, I do like with spe uh, Spectrum that you also get your 50, 70, and 100. Obviously, so you can, if you really wanted to, uh, not that I would suggest it, mind handing this car to a... Uh, a newcomer or, or some you know some you want to limit the throttle for some reason so that's nice on off button is there uh so that's a new one obviously instead of a switch like with the slt3 uh you've got these buttons here which you set your uh steering calibration for obviously by putting it into uh calibration mode steering feels nice um, you can actually put a Bluetooth module in there as well, guys. I, I, you know, no, 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 everyone thinks that Traxxas do it. Armour actually do it as well, mine, guys. Okay, so what else you get? You get shims for your diffs, all right? And we'll go through that because obviously I am going to run the car and then obviously shim it. Um, some batteries for your handset, some stickers. Uh, a friend of mine collects stickers and he, I've shown him them. and he, he was over the moon. Right, okay. Speed pinion, 16 tooth, I believe it is. Yeah, 16 tooth. Um, I wouldn't recommend bashing with this, guys, but if you are going to do some uh, flat road running, speed running, that sort of thing, you can put the 16 tooth in. As I showed you earlier on, you've got your QR code support card, a little bit of information. You've got a big wrench and also a T key there, and which is nice. They've also included some Allen keys and your slipper plates guys so these are for the front and rear i believe they're actually installed from stock in the center diff um i'm not too clued up on these so i might run it open diff front and rear and leave the front as a slipper assembly and then maybe do a bit more inf uh, sort of hunting for information that sort of thing and then go further down the line and add these to the center but uh, yeah, that is basically what comes with the car. Um, I'm going to carry on now and calibrate the vehicle. Right, guys. So they've actually included this new receiver. It's AVC receiver. It's a, let's have a look, SR6200A. So I believe this is new AVC receiver. Um, <clears throat> now, previous mod AVC receivers have been a bit of, a, well, let's say patchy, should we say, for running. Um, for actually setting them up has been a bit of a pain in the backside, but uh, yeah, as you can see, the SR6200A is a new AVC receiver and it's actually looks like a six channel receiver as well. So it's nice that they've included that. I thought I'd open it up and show you guys, but um, right, I think what I'm actually gonna do to be honest, with you, I'm gonna open up the rear diff, all right, and then check it over. But uh, let's go up top in a second and um, I'll talk to you about the car. I'm going to make the checking the car over a separate video, I think. But I don't think it's going to need a lot. I've, as I say, I've checked the diffs and everything and they seem a okay. So, hmm. Uh, check the rear diff, see how the fluids are. If the fluids are low, then it, it kind of gives me an indication to go through the center and the front as well at the same time. But uh, yeah, let's go for me.
Welcome back guys, so obviously that's the first look on the Creighton EXB version 2 Massive shout out to Headley for obviously hooking me up with the vehicle, really do appreciate it uh, Guys, I'm going to be doing my usual obviously checking over the vehicles uh, I was having an R in over the diffs, I've had a chat with the boys And uh, they've, yeah, basically yeah, I am going to have a look um, I, With that truck there's tons of little in incremental changes I think are going to be absolutely awesome to make the truck nice and tough and uh, yeah, fingers crossed we should get his Garth Park soon to give it his first run. I want to say a massive thank you to each and everyone who obviously for watching the channel. All the likes, shares and subscribes that go on. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you check the box for more videos. Until next time guys, stay awesome. Catch you later.